Don't Stop Goes Marine. We are doing the impeller on this 2004 150 horsepower Optimax saltwater Mercury engine. It's an outboard. It's on a 24 foot Sea Fox. What you see when you are having impeller issues is the engine kind of mid range starts to heat up because that impeller is not moving enough water to cool the engine. And we have a smart gauge on here that will beep at us, tell us the temp's too high, kind of put you in limp mode and you got to restart the engine, kind of let it cool down, troll around low speeds or even get up on plane and cool the engine down by moving more water. So today we are going to be taking down that lower unit and replacing the impeller. Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so on this 150 Optimax to low, drop this lower unit, there's six bolts, one in the back that's half inch, you'll need an extension, one on either side on the lower portion, right where my fingers are, that are five eighths. These two nuts that are located right here, one on either side that's five eighths, and then one in the front here, which is five eighths as well. So there's two bolts here, or two little screws. This is the top gear oil screw, and this is the bottom one. So we opened this one up. There was a little bit of water in there, uh, but then the oil kind of came pouring out. It'll flow out better if you pull the top one too. Here we are trimming up the motor and getting ready to drop that lower unit. So we're using two cinder blocks here to hold the lower unit up as we're working on it. The impeller is in this housing. We've got the rubber bushing right on top here that will slide out over the post. We're gonna look at the gaskets and see if we need to replace them. So we took off two 7 sixteenths on each side and then a half inch um, bolt on the top and then the bottom was a 5 sixteenths. The gasket stayed on. This is the impeller right here. So that's what we're aiming to replace. And if your gasket does come off, you want to make sure you get the replacement and uh, do that. Once the impeller housing is off, there is this little key here that just sits in this slot along the shaft. And this ridge that you can see aligns in the impeller to actually make the impeller spin. This is the impeller, as you can see, the condition's not that great. We got some cracks in the side here, um, but we're just gonna pull it out here. I just got a pair of pliers and yanked it out. As you can see, there's the cracks that we're talking about. So it's definitely a uh, little needs replacing. One important thing to do is inspect the inside of your housing, inspect it for any scrapes, any rash, any scratches will damage the new impeller when you put it in. So if you do, you might have to replace this impeller housing as well. Before we put it back together, all this crud, I'm not gonna try and scrape the paint off by any means. I'm gonna try and keep the paint in place, but I am going to kind of clean up this edge so the lower unit seats nicely when we put it back up there. All right, so I'm gonna put this back together now. I got some grease from this grease gun, just on my finger here. And I'm gonna grease the inside of this uh, housing. Just a little bit. Just all the way around like that. Doesn't need to be a lot, just a thin layer. Gonna also grease this wood roof key here. Like that. Then put it back right here where it comes out on the shaft. I'm going to take the impeller. So, got this impeller in. It is a little bit tricky to get all of the fins going the correct direction, but I put my thumb in here and grabbed one of the fins and bent it in the right direction. You want to spin it in counterclockwise so then it's in the proper orientation when it's facing down. And then you just twist as you're pushing in and then all of them should be going in the correct direction. So next we're gonna slide this down, put the rubber O-ring back on top of that, tighten this patterning down, put some grease up here and slide the lower unit back in. The woodruff key is right here, closely aligned with this bolt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist the impeller so that this little groove in the center is aligned closely with this bolt and then we will fine tune it once we have it on the shaft. All right, so going back down, we'll see if we can align the impeller in its proper positioning with the Woodruff key now. All 
side we have the woodruff key and the impeller is slightly on it and that's that groove that's on the impeller now it's sliding smoothly down in the housing down in the gasket it'll take a little finagling one thing that we did that helped us is turning this shaft just a little bit just eighth or less of a turn to try and get that to slip right down on it Shrikar and Jimbo are tightening that impeller housing in a crosshatch pattern similar to what you do with tires. Shrikar and I lifted the lower unit up into the rest of the motor. Aligning it was a lot more challenging than what we thought. Once all of the splines were aligned and it was well seated, we reattached all of the nuts and tightened them down. Shrikar and Jimbo replaced the lower unit gear oil. They might have lost one of the drain screws in the grass and had to search for it, but this is also a time where you replace your fabric-based crush washers for a good seal so no water gets in there. All right, so we've finished up replacing the impeller on this 150 XL Optimax saltwater. Um, it was a little bit challenging to realign the lower unit gear shaft or the, the shaft up into the rest of the motor. Um, but with just some hand turning with a little bit of a towel on it uh, really helped us align the spline so we were able to get it all the way up and then we reconnected all of the, the nuts to hold it back together. Um, one thing to note is this back fin, you do not need to take off to do this lower unit. You can leave that completely in place on the 150. Uh, then what we did is we undid the upper and lower um, gear oil plugs pumped in from the bottom till it came out the top and then put the top one in, took the pump out, plugged it with the lower one, and now we're gonna test it. So right now we're testing uh, the motor now. We got the water with the muffs on it at the bottom there. So you guys can see. Now we're gonna start it up and see if, uh, the impeller is working. Once placed in gear for the first time after the impeller exchange, it did start peeing, which is a good sign water is circulating. We had forward, reverse, as well as more water excreted with higher RPMs. All of these products that we used are linked, so you have easy access to them in the body of this video. Well, that brings us to the end of another Shop Don't Stop video. As you guys saw, this one was a little different. We went down to Florida. We're hanging out with some friends, did some boat waxing, fishing, and just kind of enjoyed the Florida weather and did a little different style of video. So the main portion of the video was that 150 horsepower Optimax impeller job. Let us know if you like this style video and you want to see more Optimax and other boating related stuff on the channel. Uh, thanks for viewing, and we will see you on the next one. And remember, stop, stop don't stop.